The CoreWorks Goldmine integration leverages the power of your CRM to effectively and accurately prepare, manage, and deliver sales quotes to your customers. In this video, I'll be showing you how to retrieve customer details, create follow-up calls, and create an update forecast at sales. Let's start by creating a new quote. For this demonstration, I'll be using a template. Templates are a great way to save even more time when preparing quotes. Next, I will bring in the customer's information. With QuoteWorks, there's no need to retype customer information that already exists in Goldmine. In QuoteWorks, I'll go to the Sold to Ship to tab of the Quote Workbook and click on the Card button. As you can see, the customer's information was retrieved from Goldmine and populated into the respected fields. You can also search for other contacts in the Goldmine database by clicking on the magnifying glass. From the lookup window, you can search for a contact by company, last name, or phone number. You can also display additional contacts in your search results. Once you have found a desired contact, simply click on Sold To, Ship To, and or Bill To to populate the corresponding fields in QuoteWorks. In addition to retrieving customer information, QuoteWorks can also retrieve additional information stored in Goldmine. Our detailing feature enables you to customize which additional information you would like to have automatically pulled into QuoteWorks. For this example, I want to pull in the industry field that you see here. This industry field corresponds to the Contact 1 Key 2 field in Goldmine. To set up the data link, I'll go to Contacts and select Setup Contact Manager and click on Data Link. Here are the available fields from Goldmine that I can pull into the quote. Once I find the Contact 1 Key 2 field, which is the industry field in Goldmine, I will select it. Now from the QuoteWorks drop-down list, I will select the Sold To Price Profile field, which corresponds to the Customer Profile field on the Sold To Ship To tab of QuoteWorks. Once you establish a link, the value of that field will be pulled into QuoteWorks when the contact record is retrieved. Note that the profile field is currently blank. To pull in the industry field, I will clear the sold to fields and then retrieve the same contact. As you can see, the data link setup window allows you to specify which additional fields from Goldmine you want to pull into QuoteWorks. Now that I've finished creating my quote, I will save it. Here you can choose the Goldmine integration options. Selecting Create or Update Link Document will create or update a link document record under the Goldmine Links tab, where you can see all the quotes you've created for this customer. We can switch to Goldmine to see the link document that was created. The link document will be under the Links tab. This quote attachment is very useful. When your customer calls back in reference of your quote, you or anyone in the office can easily open up that quote by looking up the customer in Goldmine and double-clicking on the link document. As you can see, you can quickly open a quote from the Goldmine Links tab. Selecting Create or Update Profile Detail Record will create a detail record in Goldmine under the Details tab called QuoteWorks Document. This detail will contain the quote number. We can switch to Goldmine to see the detail record that was created under the Details tab. This is useful if you have a quote number but do not know what customer the quote is for. By searching the Goldmine QuoteWorks document detail records, you can find the customer based on the quote number. Selecting Create or Update Follow-up Call will schedule a callback in Goldmine, which enables you to follow up on open quotes, increasing your chances of closing the sale. From here, you can select the date, the time, and set an alarm. You can also change the activity code and select a different user to schedule a call for a colleague. We can switch to Goldmine to see the follow-up call that was scheduled. This call will be under the Pending tab. This call activity will automatically notify you when it is time to follow up on this quote. Selecting Create or Update Forecasted Sales Opportunity will create or update a forecasted sale record under the Goldmine Spending tab. This enables you to track forecasted income. From here, you can associate the forecasted sale with an existing opportunity, or you can create a new opportunity to associate with a forecasted sale. From here, I can create a new sales opportunity in Goldmine to associate it with the forecasted sale. 
I'll give the opportunity a name, select the status, and the stage, and the source. I can also set the expected close date and the probability that this opportunity will turn into a sale. Once I create the opportunity, I can change the expected close date for the forecasted sale, the activity code, the user, and the probability. I can also set an alarm and check the RSVP to get notified when the forecasted sale is complete. We can switch to Goldmine to see the forecasted sale that was created. The forecasted sale will be under the pending tab. The opportunity we created to associate with this forecasted sale will be under the Opportunities tab. By creating forecasted sales and opportunities in Goldmine, you can generate reports to give you insight into your sales pipeline. The next step is to send the quote to the customer. Here are the layouts I have available. I can create more of a proposal style quote by adding a cover page, literature, spec sheets, and any other document I want to include. QuoteWorks will then take all your documents and merge them into a PDF. You can also choose the Word option to have QuoteWorks merge all the quote information into a Microsoft Word document. Our quote template designer also allows you to bring over information stored in Goldmine and display it on the quote. For this example, I'm going to insert the industry field that I use for the data link, which corresponds to the Contact One Key Two field in Goldmine. I'll go to Insert, Data Field, and choose Contact Manager. Here are all the fields from Goldmine that I can pull into the quote. Once I find the Contact One Key Two field, I will select it. I'll then click OK and choose the location. Next, I will save and preview it to test it. As you can see, the value of the industry field from Goldmine is now on the quote. Now let's select and preview the quote I'm going to be sending to the customer. Here's a quote I'm about to send. Since everything checks out, I will now send it to my customer. You can then email your customer a PDF of your quote. Or you can create an interactive customized web page of your quote with Quote Ballet. Here you can upload your quote to the cloud and preview the web page of your quote before sending the link to your customer. Quote Ballet gives your customers the ability to electronically sign and accept your quote, as well as make payment. Best of all, you will get notified when your customer views the quote. After uploading and previewing your quote, I will send an email to the customer with the link that will open up the web page of the quote. We can switch to Goldmine to see the email record. The email record can be found under the History tab. After you send an email, QuoteWorks will also create a PDF copy of your quote under the Links tab. This allows your colleagues that don't have access to QuoteWorks to still be able to view the quote. Now let's pretend the customer accepts the quote. At this point, I would convert the quote to an order. When a quote is converted to an order, the existing forecast of sale in Goldmine is automatically converted into a completed sale, eliminating the possibility of me forgetting. We can switch to Goldmine to see the completed sale. The completed sale will now be under the History tab. As you have seen, information flows seamlessly between QuoteWorks and Goldmine. The seamless integration will increase your productivity so you can spend more time selling and less time creating sales quotes.